Hey, I'm Luca Paris. This is my culinary journey. I was born in Torino, Italy. Went to college, Johnson Wales University. I opened up Luca's Mediterranean Cafe, which spoke to everything I loved about food. You know, there's family recipes, recipes from generations past that just come out and people have them. They're all there. Everyone's a chef. Everyone can cook. And we're just gonna go out there and find it. That's what it is. Food is what brings the community together. We're gonna break bread with people all across this country, learn about them, learn about their traditions, learn about their recipes. Think about all these great things that we could find out there just by traveling and creating and finding out who the people are. Because food, people, and the social aspect, it's all intertwined. It's all one big ball. And we can make that happen while we eat America, one bite at a time. Today we're here at Stonewall Farm in Keene, New Hampshire. And we're gonna meet the farmer, Sarah Barkhouse. This is what we're gonna do. We're gonna get down and dirty and pick some great vegetables, and we're gonna use them in our dish for our dinner. Hey, Sarah. We're kind of proud of our carrots. We're proud of your carrots. <laughs> Just like eat stuff right out of the ground. Absolutely. Perfect. Yeah. Oh, I forgot to tell you, we wash ours off usually. I think you have a little dirt. You can never one have enough garlic, no, right? No, one for the road. Do you right. eat it raw? Love it. <laughs> Give me an idea what's in here again. Um, pure, 100% organic cow poop. So when I ate the carrot, it wasn't dirt? So <laughs> these so are Brussels start? sprouts. How far down? Does it matter? Well, no, I don't know. Maracas? What are they called? <laughs> <Maracas>? <laughs> I'm heading over to the Elm City Brew Pub. I'm going to meet Bill, the brewmaster. We're going to learn about local beers. We're going to learn about cooking with them and how to make them. It's going to be really cool. Hey, man. Hey, Luca. How's it going? Oh, yeah. It's good, good to see you. Good to see you. All right. Brewing All right. some beer? Absolutely. Actually, your timing's just about perfect. We're just about to get started. So let's talk a little bit about the beer. What's the process like? Well, show me the way to the next whiskey bar. So is that simply like a little hot tub for the brain to sit in? Uh, pretty much, yeah. For the enzymes to have a little party and have a, just a sugar party. Give you a little bit concentrated wort. I'm oh, sorry, wort. Yeah, well, it's, <laughs> okay. it's pronounced wort. So you say it outside you want wort. Wort. Yeah, that's that's. So exactly when I right. need it, I just have yeah, some wort. Some wort, wort. Yep. Awesome. Yep. So let's go taste some beer while they're working on this. All right, I love it. I love that too. Let's go. All right, thanks. <laughs> Sharkeen Kolsch. I had my hands in manure earlier today. Did you? All right. Do you need to know that? So we, we make chickens drunk, but not those chickens. Not those chickens, that's just foul. <laughs> Our raspberry wheat. You are just so wise. <laughs> what do you say? So you've had two pints. Over like two gallons. I try not to fall off the seat. You got this amazing, amazing wart. So now we're on our way to go see David Wichland. He's the guy I have to see about the mushrooms. Now they tell me, now if I could find them, that's the first thing. They tell me that if I need mushrooms, don't go anywhere else. Dave Wichland is the guy. Mushroom guy, mushroom guy. I'm going to find the mushroom guy. Wow. Pretty interesting already. Hmm. Out there. Oh, there's a mushroom knocker. Got to be the place. Okay. Ebenezer Scrooge. Out there. Hey, hey, Dave. Hey, how's it going? Up. It's good, good to, to see, see you. Us. How you doing? You're the mushroom guy. That's what they tell me. Hey, you. Out there in the cold, getting lonely, getting old. Can you feel yeah, anybody out there? So this is the world of the mushroom. This is the world of the mushroom. Hey, you. They Spr actually grow on manure. You know, that's a, that's a theme for this whole show. I seem to find that everywhere in the show. Yeah, manure. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> now, this is growing your own. 
What That's about right. finding mushrooms out there? I mean, I'm sure you don't tell people. Uh, you tell people. I don't be tell careful. people about my secret spots. Okay. But I can help people to understand how to pick and what kind of certain traits to look right. for. And you wouldn't want to pick mushrooms if you don't know. Definitely not. But there's a there's a little line. There's lots of bold mushroom hunters, but there's okay. no old bold <laughs> mushroom hunters. <laughs> okay. And a good general rule is mushrooms on a tree right. are generally good to be. Okay. Mushrooms on the ground should be frowned. Okay, That's so let's cool. go check out some of your stuff All outside. Right. Mushroom farmers grow mushrooms. Right. They actually inoculate logs. Right. Might as well do something here. Now the best place to yeah, get the mushroom is nice and close to the stem where so, it connects to the, the wood chip. So like right around here. That's right there. Awesome. It's definitely an honor. Good to see, see you again. again. And thanks for everything. Thanks You're welcome. For the, for the help with that. See if I make it to the car in one piece. So now we have almost everything we need for this meal. We actually need the, the main entree. So, you know, we went to the farm, we got our root vegetables, Stonewall, and then we went to see Bill and we got our beer. And then the mushrooms, hey, who could forget that, you know? So we've got all these great items, and everybody in Keene tells me the place where I want to get my chicken is Mack Hill Farms. So we're going to see Lisa and Frank. We're going to talk to them about chicken, and who knows what else is here. That's actually the most fun about what we're creating, is this meal out of who knows. And here at Mack Hill, they have pigs, they have chicken, they have bees, ge geese, ducks, you name it. They have it all. So let's go find out what's there at Mack Hill. Have you seen the little these, are, these are some mighty big pigs. These are some mighty big pigs. They're tamworths. And that is? They're uh, is, that, is that like Kenite from Mighty Big Pig? Yeah. Can I have a kiss? They're really, really friendly. A lot of, a lot of farms wouldn't let you come in if there's a board. Really? They would say absolutely not. Really? Because boars are known to be very, very aggressive. But I've had Albus, I've had Albus since he was 10 weeks old. I just heard very, very aggressive. I'm going to be right here. <laughs> yeah, it is. All right. See, he's wow. all rough up here, and then he's soft right behind his ears. That's wild. This is Albus. Got some great turkeys out here. Yeah. Turkey mating! I've been We'll just keep him from running. All right. And it's your job to get him. It's my job to go get you him. You gotta catch a chicken. You wanna eat All a chicken. Alright. Yeah. Gotta catch a chicken. Grab him by his feet. <laughs> Turn him upside down. Yeah. <laughs> oh that's easy for you to do. Chicken! Hey, look, I caught a chicken. Oh, Pierre. Hey, guys, so this is the fruits of our labor. Two full days of finding some of the coolest ingredients in this town and meeting some of the coolest people. Do you remember when we met with Sarah? Stonewall Farms, we had the the parsnips, the carrots, uh, we all remember what's on this, right? Garlic that raw is not as much fun as you think it is. Beets and onions and celery root or celery act, potatoes and more beets. I got beets going everywhere. And the Brussels sprouts and the leeks. We're gonna do some crazy things with both of those to make this chicken really pop. And we want to go see my good friend. Now he's officially my good friend because when you share that much beer with anybody, they become great friends. So we got some, uh, 420, smoked 420, it's a smoked beer, it's gonna be wonderful. We got this amazing, amazing wart from a local beer that uh, Bill made, and you're gonna, we're gonna show you what we're gonna do with those. And I got some mushrooms from David Wichland, and uh, <laughs> do I have to say anything else about David Wichland? Then we come over here, and we went to go see Lisa and Frank at Mack Hill Farms. These are the chickens, yeah, you actually catch them, you don't hunt them. I actually put them in this brine, and it's a nice reduction uh, the, of some water and vinegar that's going to make them even more juicy than they already are. And bacon from an unproductive pig. So stay productive, my friends, is our new theme song. 
but this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna create a dish just cause they're all coming now for a big get together and we have to be ready for it. So our little uh, addition to this get together is gonna be the chicken. 